G'day everyone, and what an absolute cracker night we're going to have for some astrophotography. So let's finish setting up and I'll tell you exactly what we're going to be imaging in a minute. Well everyone, by the title of this video, you probably already know exactly what I'm going to be imaging tonight. And it's the triplets. That's right, the Leo triplets. A group of galaxies that are fairly close together in terms of photography point of view. However, not exactly close together in terms of real life and space. Um, this group of uh, galaxies are approximately 35 million light years away from Earth. so. That's one of the really cool things about shooting galaxies, I guess, is it's just the fact that light has been traveling for so long, and in fact, it's kind of like the past, and we are in the present. So we're capturing past light in present, um, and it would be really interesting to know what it would be like in another, I don't know, thousand years, unfortunately might be around um, but I guess that's a great thing about us being able to document our images now um, so our future generations can probably look back at it and see just what differences um, we've made however I'm not really a scientific kind of astrophotographer so I don't think my images will be used as a reference at all but it's really cool to be actually uh, imaging some galaxies with the twin racerates now, they are a quite large field of view, so we're not going to go for three galaxies. We're going to go for five galaxies in one shot. It's going to be pushing it, but we'll give it a crack. We do have about a half moon um, at the moment, and I am shooting uh, to the north. That doesn't help, so it's going to be challenging, but you guys know I like the challenge. So, we'll see how things happen. So, let's talk quickly about what's going on right here. Uh, on Rassel 1, I've got my QHY 294 color uh, camera in the middle for my Willing Optics Guide Scope. And then on my uh, second Rasa, I've got the ZWO uh, 294 mono camera. Uh, I have changed things slightly here. I've actually got an astronomic um, UHC uh, filter sitting um, in the Rasa here. I just want to uh, maybe add a little bit of uh, luminosity data and hopefully I can just. Uh, um, produce a little bit more contrast in those uh, luminosity frames by doing that. Don't know how well it's going to work out. I do know that this filter here does cause haloing around bright stars and there will be a bright star or two in this field of view. Um, so we might have to do a little bit of work there in reducing that halo effect in processing. But um, in terms of the RGB, there's uh, just a UV IR cut filter. So therefore, we're not reflecting a lot more light back through the um, imaging system because imaging f2 we've got to make sure our filters are suitable for f2 optics and if they're not you are going to be reflecting light back through the system and causing halos um, and ghosting within your images and that's why a lot of these other um, narrowband or tri-band um, filters uh, cause a lot of uh, these ghosting effects um, so yeah, we'll try not to, uh, to get that in our images, but we do want to try and produce the best contrast and the best image we can straight off the cameras. So let's give it a crack. I've got my dew heaters all connected up now, so I've got to reroute, reroute some of the um, uh, dew heating cabling. Um, at the moment, it's just all sort of thrown in there as a bit of a trial, um, just to see how the echo works with the Celestron dew um, ring at this stage. 
the dew settings or the, the temperature hasn't reached the dew set, uh, point, so um, I haven't been able to activate the uh, um, the echo system with the celestial and dew rings yet. But um, hopefully, in the next uh, month or so, that should uh, possibly change as it gets a bit colder here in, in Australia tonight. Is absolutely beautiful um, so I don't think we're going to uh, need the dew heaters on um, but they're all connected up um, ready to go just in case yeah so there's a lot of cabling just all over the place at the moment I've also um, got to uh, well, I've designed now I'm printing off some new rasa masks um, for the front to suit the Celestron uh, dew heater ring um, so they've been modified a bit and uh, work um, really well from the test piece uh, I shot, which was a, a clear plastic, um, just so I could see where things uh, are sitting. But now I'm shooting a, uh, a carbon black carbon fiber filament uh, mask at the moment. Um, it's taken a day and a half so far. It's still going. Uh, so the next time I image, I'm pretty sure um, those two masks will be on the front of the brasses to uh, help out cable management the cameras there and produce those really nice um, diffraction spikes on my stars that I absolutely love. All we need to do now is wait for it to get a bit darker so we can start finalising our setup and get imaging. <laughs> 